Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel where I'm helping you live your best life in Dubai and I wanted to shoot a video because I actually just moved apartment. Actually I say just moved, it feels like yesterday but it was actually back in January so that was like like months ago now but anyway it feels like I just moved in, I'm in my new apartment right now. Anyone that's been watching the vlogs you'll know that I just moved from Ras Al Khaimah to JVC. Ras Al Khaimah is another emirate about an hour's drive from Dubai and then before that I was living in Dubai Marina for four years. So I think I've gotten to know the areas in Dubai pretty well, but obviously it goes without saying I've not lived everywhere. So this is just kind of my take. I'm gonna go through some of the areas, the popular expat areas for people to live. Um, and as well, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Mabel and I moved from the UK. So I'm British and I think I definitely have a good perspective of British expat life in Dubai, but there is so many other areas and it's such a melting pot of nationalities, so there's so many other experiences that I think, um, you know, are also represented here. This is just my take. So let's get into the video. I'm gonna start actually by throwing you a curveball and starting this video by talking about JVC, which is the area I've just moved to. Now, you've probably not heard of this uh, area. It's not like it's got any of the, you know, big Dubai tourist attractions in, Davy in JVC. It is much more residential. It is a, you know, mostly, well, actually I say mostly villas, it's actually not. There has been so many apartment buildings popping up in JVC and the most, uh, I'd say the most popular kind of reason to move to JVC is because of the prices. It is very affordable to live here. Me and my boyfriend have an apartment for, a two bedroom apartment for 65,000 dirhams a year. And that's a really good price for a, for a two bedroom apartment in the UAE. Um, we're so, so happy with the price. I do have another video with the tour and the breakdown and everything about moving. But yeah, I just really wanted to highlight that JVC is a really affordable area to live in. And now that I've lived here for a while, I'm looking out the window out at JVC and I'm kind of like <laughs> looking out there as if it's for inspiration. But I just want to talk to you a bit about some of the kind of benefits that I've found personally since um, moving to JVC. It is very quiet, to be honest. And, you know, I know that that kind of isn't what everyone's looking for, but it's more suburban, it's more family orientated, it's better suited to pets and families um, compared to an area like Dubai Marina, which is where I used to live, which is very noisy, it's all high rises. It's just a completely different experience. Now, JVC on the other hand is, it's much more quiet, it's residential, like I said, it's not really like a shopping destination, it's not really a tourist destination. There's a lot of little parks to walk dogs um, and children's play areas. Um, and yeah, it's just a much kind of quieter pace. And the downside of living in JVC, I will tell you, is the traffic. Getting in and out of JVC can be uh, very bad for traffic. I'm lucky I don't really suffer from this too bad because I work from home most days. So I am not commuting, but I know that Hester Street traffic is really, really bad and I have been stuck in traffic um, at some point and yeah, it's not ideal. So that is something to bear in mind if you're gonna be driving out of JVC to your office, um, wherever that might be, you know, something to bear in mind. If you're working remotely or if, you're, if you've are if you got an office kind of, um, you know, like a long al kale and not having to get onto Sheikh Zayed, then I think you'll be fine, um, but yeah. So in JVC, there is also a really great gym that I've been going to. I've got a referral link in my description. Um, and yeah, there's not loads and loads, that's the thing. What I don't like about JVC is I can't just pop out and walk somewhere nice for dinner. Like we've only really got, what we got, we've got like a Nando's, which we've never been to. We've got other things in the mall, just kind of places that we wouldn't really go to. Um, but you know, there's everything you might want. There's like a Starbucks. Um, there's a Boots, there's a Spinney's supermarket, there's um, you know a dentist in the mall. There's a lot in the mall, but it's not like people are gonna come from all across Dubai and go shopping there. That's not the case. Um, I'm talking about Circle Mall, by the way. And yeah, so like I said, I really am enjoying living in JVC. Um, I'm 24 and living with my boyfriend here. And 
Our two bedroom apartment, it works out as about 5,000 dirhams per month. Um, and then with bills as well, like I said, I have a full breakdown, but um, yeah, that's for a two bedroom apartment and we absolutely love it here. So um, and now let's talk about Dubai Marina. So Marina is a very popular place for expats to live in, um, especially British and European expats. Um, it is a lot of high rises, it's all apartments, it's very, very um, glamorous, um, but it's also kind of like city vibes, okay? So you've kind of got like, um, the marina, you've got marina mall, you've got loads of lovely um, restaurants and things, there's JBR, it's very very close um, so you can walk there, you can also walk onto Dubai Harbour straight from there which is brand new and it's just opened and it's gorgeous, um, you've got amazing views of the you know Arabian Gulf Sea and it's absolutely beautiful. So I did love living in Marina to be honest, I lived there for four years when I first moved to Dubai and I absolutely loved it. It was, I definitely would have had FOMO if I had moved straight to JVC and hadn't lived in Marina before but I kind of feel like I got it out of my system you know it's kind of place you can go out for ladies nights and go out for drinks there's loads of bars there's loads of food um, right on your doorstep it's definitely um, a hot spot especially for young people it is busy though and that's what I noticed in comparison to JVC is JVC is so much quieter um, not just like in terms of volume like noise levels but also just people there's way more people in marina um, and you are gonna pay a lot more, to be honest. My rent was, I, I pay, now that I'm sharing with Connor, obviously we've got a two bed, but when I was just paying for one bedroom um, in a three bedroom apartment with two other girls, I was paying four and a half thousand dirhams just for me without bills. Uh, so yeah, like that's basically double what I pay now and that was just for one room to share with two others. Um, you know sharing the apartment with two others and I do have a video about that if you want to go watch that as well that was from so long ago I did love that apartment um, the views were amazing you know you'll all the buildings will have lovely pools um, it is a really nice place to live one thing I would say though is a lot of the buildings are getting a little bit outdated now JVC is much newer so the you know, kind of finishes in the buildings are much more modern in Dubai Marina they're a bit older they're kind of from like 20 years ago, I know that's not that old, but like, yeah, they're getting a bit dated now. One popular um, thing you can do is if you're renting in Dubai Marina or anywhere, wherever it is, and you find that the finishes are really kind of, you know, not nice, you can actually wrap it, um, which is like a process where you put a vinyl wrap over it. Um, and I have a great company uh, link for you, it's in the description if that's of interest for you. If you're suffering from an ugly brown kitchen in Dubai Marina, then this could be a great fix for you. You can pretty much transform your whole kitchen for like 5,000 dirhams. So in Dubai Marina, because it's right next to all these, you know, incredible hot spots, it's got um, amazing restaurants, it's got Blue Waters Island right there, which is very expensive. It's got the AIM Dubai wheel right next to it, it's got JBR Beach. You could expect to pay for a two bedroom, you could expect to pay maybe, you know, 120,000 dirhams or that could even be for one bedroom in some of the nicer buildings like Marina Gates or Ocean Heights um, or, you know, some of the more affordable buildings you may even be behind a one bedroom for like 70,000 dirhams a year I'd say maybe. Um, if you're lucky but that would be one of the kind of you know lesser popular buildings um so yeah that's about dubai marina now let's talk about downtown dubai now i've never lived in downtown dubai personally but i love to go there because it is an incredible destination now you'll probably know um without having to go there just how popular of a de destination it is because it's got the burj khalifa at the center it's got dubai mall which is the world's largest shopping mall um, it goes without saying it's very busy around that area um, so if you're living you know in those surrounding buildings you can expect to be paying a premium price because it's so popular and do be aware that it is a really busy city obviously it's incredible with the, with the fountains and the mall it is and you know it's beautiful all the restaurants around there are amazing I've got so many recommendations for you if you're wanting to go for dinner around there um, but yeah it's a completely different experience that you'd have from living in somewhere like JVC or even from somewhere in Jumeirah in a villa, um, you know, totally different. Now in downtown Dubai, it's all pretty much apartment buildings. I, don't, I can't think of any areas really in downtown Dubai that has villas. It's all apartments and beautiful, you know, penthouses and um, you will be paying a premium price. 
Pretty much similar to Dubai Marina, if not more. I would say it might be slightly more expensive than Dubai Marina, especially if you're, you know, going for one of these incredible incredible buildings or maybe even living in one of the address hotels or something like that um, it's going to be quite a premium price on the flip side of that if you're looking for a villa then you might be interested in Jumeirah now Jumeirah is a very premium place to live in a villa um, it's not far from downtown Dubai it is a completely different experience though because it is not high rises it's all low rise villas and streets it's very pedestrian friendly it's one of the few fake places in Dubai that I would say is very pedestrian friendly, great for families or if you've got pets. Um, it is right next to kind of Jumeirah Beach which is also lovely to walk across. You've got Kite Beach, there's um, little cafes and things, great for breakfast. It's lovely to stroll along there along the weekend. Um, the prices will be quite premium of these villas though so do bear that in mind um, because yeah they're not kind of new builds. Jumeirah is one of like the, the OG areas in Dubai to live um, and if you want a really interesting perspective on life in Jumeirah then I would urge you to go and watch my friend Marie's content. I interviewed her on my podcast and um, she is kind of capturing her slow living approach to life in Dubai. It's not what you kind of expect from Dubai living. It's a, it's a slow paced lifestyle by the beach. Um, it's more like, you know, kind of a, a or I want to say like a Scandinavian almost approach to living very slow. Um, yeah, we talk more about it in my podcast, but it was very, very, it was a very interesting conversation. And yeah, she lives in Jamira and absolutely loves it. I always watch her stories and TikToks and think, um, yeah, just how nice it must be to live in that, such a lovely area. Then we've also got Business Bay, which is also near downtown Dubai, but again, that's gonna be more high rises and things. Um, the clues in the name, obviously there's a lot of business activity over there, a lot of offices. You might be working in kind of DIFC, that's not too far, financial center. Again, these are going to be all high-rise buildings and apartments um, and these will be quite premium prices as well, so do be careful of that. Business Bay and Financial Centre, they're popular among professionals. I would say this is um, lesser for families like Jumeirah, but this is more for, yeah, kind of working professionals. As for villas, sorry, I know I'm flicking between areas right now, but you've also got some really lovely areas um, for villas as well, for sure. You've got um, Springs, which is a lovely area that my friend just moved to and I cannot wait to go and check out her villa. Um, but I know that she loves it there. Um, great for starting the family, she just had a baby there. Um, you've also got the Greens, which is a lovely area. Again, very pedestrian friendly and it's kind of one of those places that's like, hang on, this doesn't really feel like Dubai, um, very different to Dubai Marina. Um, you've also got Dubai Hills, which is a gorgeous area for premium villas. Um, this is where you'll be paying kind of a more premium price, especially uh, for the you know bigger villas. Um, it's also set on a lovely golf course, so you've got um, you know like very luxurious views. I think some of the Dubai Hills villas also have views of Burj Khalifa, which is going to add to that price tag as well. Um, but actually. I was just in Dubai Hills yesterday as I went there for lunch with my friends and it is a lovely neighborhood you know we always go there um, and we just say to ourselves wow wouldn't it be lovely to live in Dubai Hills it's pretty much all villas but there are some apartment buildings there's not very many though um, and I don't actually know anybody personally that lives in these apartment buildings um, but yeah the feedback that I've got from my friends that have lived in Dubai Hills is that they do absolutely love it that brings me on to probably the most famous neighborhood in Dubai which is the Palm Jumeirah now I I'm not gonna lie, I would absolutely love to live on the palm. I was there with my family um, when they were staying in a hotel that just opened there. And honestly, I, as I was walking around just in the morning and going to the salon and doing normal things, I was just like, wow, like it is so, so lovely how they've done all West Palm Beach. It's absolutely beautiful. So many beautiful restaurants and bars. Um, the only thing I would say is a lot of the buildings are a little bit kind of, um, dated now like the shoreline apartments and the golden mile galleria it does feel a little bit gated dated it's not as modern as some of your other areas in dubai but it is still gorgeous it's all palm trees you've got nakil mall you've got loads of luxury hotels there to go and hang about in gorgeous swimming pools loads of restaurants um and then of course you've got all the kind of fronds of the palm which is kind of like the leaves if you imagine um and there, that's where you'll find all those luxury villas that you've probably seen on like Dubai Bling and stuff like that. So there's apartments and there is um, 
villas available on the Palm de Mira. And of course, then you've kind of got a big um, network of luxury hotels, including Atlantis the Palm and Atlantis the Royal, and so many others W Palm, um, Softel Palm. Uh, Kempinski, literally so many luxury hotels, uh, Rixos, there is so so many so you would not be sure of um, you would not be sure of options to go out for dinner on the Palm. I would say for the Palm though that you probably need to drive, although saying that actually um, I don't drive and I feel like you can just get cabs there but it's not very good for public transport. It's got the monorail but personally I've never got it because it only goes up and down and often you kind of need to go to lots of different places. Um, so yeah, that is my kind of um, quick take, quick introduction, if you like, onto the different areas of Dubai. Now, if you're looking for an apartment or a villa, then you should definitely be checking out De Bizzle or Property Finder, um, and you can refine by area, but my biggest tip for you, this is what me and Connor did, um, where it was when we moved, is we didn't decide anything until we'd seen them in person. Um, we booked into a hotel, and we saw nine different apartments on the same day, um, um, all in JVC, got to know the area a bit and then we made our decision. So yeah, that is our kind of moving story. And I hope you found this video really helpful and I hope that you enjoyed it. If you've got any other questions for me, let me know, pop me a message or a comment um, and I'd love to hear from you. See you in the next video. Bye guys.